Hello my creepy lovelies and welcome back to another creepy text story. Let's begin shall we? Wendy says, I had a dream last night. Carla says, one of your nightmares? Yes. What happened? I dreamed something bad happened to Jay. He was in a car accident. It felt so real. <coughs> really, oh excuse me. I'm really worried right now. You know what's been happening lately. I'm gonna call him to know if he's okay. I already called him but he's not answering. Let me try. I called his house phone. His mom answered. What did she say? He went out on a road trip today. What? No, it's not possible. Where did he go? Not that far to the next state. Look, maybe we shouldn't worry. I meant to call him just for you to feel better. I'm afraid I made you feel worse. Look at the sky. Oh, of course, we're going to deal with another ad. I'm about to turn off my thing. Is it? Wait, why did she send her a picture of that? That's not the sky! Oh, whatever. It's raining, yeah. That's how it looked in my dream. Look, if there was an accident, his mom would have told us. I need to know. You know what has happened with my other dreams. Yeah, I know. They ended up happening for real. But this is different. Why? How? Yeah, thank you. How and why? Your other dreams seem to be mild. And only thing, only good things have happened so far. You know, things like Mike asking me out or you passing the class. Carla, turn on channel 2. Why? Do it fast. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. <laughs> see. That. Okay, that's literally nothing but alright. It's not working. Sorry, this crappy TV. What's going on? There's been an accident. Oh, goodness, that's gonna be. I knew it. And, oh, no! <laughs> I don't want to hear that baby cry. <laughs> Crime scene, do not cross. That, that, that These pictures almost... Ugh, whatever. Where? I knew it. I knew it. Calm down. Where did this accident occur? In the way to Hummingtown. No, no, it can't be. I need to call Jay. I bet he's fine. Three minutes later. Crap, crap, crap. He's not answering. Carla, they just showed Jay's car on TV. He's hurt. But what on earth happened? The same thing as in my dream. A huge truck crashed against some cars. But this can't be real. We need to check what's happening. Call his mom and let's go to the hospital in Lau Street. Is that where he is? Yes. But wait. Did he die? No, he didn't, but he's really injured. I didn't see him dying, but I don't know if he'll survive. Let's hurry up. See you there. Oh, goodness, if you're gonna... I'm going to turn down the, yeah, turn down the media so I don't have to hear that freaking baby again. <laughs> oh, now this time it doesn't do, um, emergency, just, um, why, why do you need to send that? What was the point of that? <laughs> the next morning. What a day yesterday. I know, I feel terrible. If I would have done something sooner, you didn't know. Don't blame yourself. It's difficult not to. But look, he's alive. Yes, but he almost dies. What? And I'm afraid it's all because of me. And the stupid dreams. There's something you need to know. What? I found some information that might help you. Well, that might help us. I think you're having premonitions. I think they manifest through your dreams. That seems like it. But what can I do about it? I am not too sure, but according to a few blogs, there's a way to stop them. Really? What kind of blogs? I don't know if the information there is accurate or not. So we can't do crap? We could try. According to some people, there is a way to change things. The way to stop premonitions from happening again is to interrupt one of them. What? I am not even getting you. Look. Basically, the next time you have one, you need to act immediately. So that it doesn't happen. But that's messing with destiny, isn't it? Don't you know the butterfly effect? Changing one thing, even if it's a small one, can mess everything up? One of your best friends almost dies, and you said you'd have loved to help him. Well, here you got the chance. But I don't know how to do it. Just use your power. You know what's going to happen. Just make sure it doesn't happen. But I'm afraid of the consequences. You should be. Gosh, that just escalated quickly. Screw you, Wendy. If I had your power, I'd use it to help. You know what? Never mind. Sit and watch the world burn. Twelve hours later.
You there? What now? You were right. I was being a coward, but not anymore. I'll change everything. What are you going to do? Did you have another one? Yes, and I'm going to stop it. Where are you? You're in the woods? That's a nice picture. And of course, now that I've turned down the media, then they're like, oh, we won't send you any more ads. <laughs> what are you doing there? A wolf is going to attack some runners at 8 a.m. I know exactly when and where that happens. Are you crazy? It's a dangerous animal. How are you going to stop him? I know I can. It's almost time. Please don't do it. I regret what I said. Of course you do. We always regret it afterward. Wendy. Hello? It's 8. Wendy, you okay? You idiot. What did you do? Three minutes later. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Don't worry. I told you I knew what to do. I had something to defend us. Are you hurt? Not at all. Come to my house now. Sure. The next day. Any dreams? Not anymore. I, I'd like to know a little bit more about the wolf attack, please. <laughs> I am sure the premonitions are gone. Are you still afraid? Of what? That there might be consequences. I don't give a crap anymore. I saved lives and the premonitions are gone. The pro the promotions are gone. <laughs> oh, and she the promotions earlier, too. <laughs> That's all I can ask for. Like the story, share with- That's it! No! Oh my gosh. <sighs> No, no, I will not share with my friends because I did not like that. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, uh, okay. I want to know what the consequences are going to be because obviously there are going to be some. But also, in fact, that doesn't she realize it's kind of bad to not have the premonitions anymore? Now you definitely can't stop anything. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway, and I will see you next time for another scary tech story.